leave it to Jesus to just yeah. like mm-hmm. be the ultimate exception mm. to that because he taught by doing. Yes. yes. I mean, like it, in just such a beautiful way. And I, I'm grateful that the Beatitudes, that this mm. part of the Sermon on the Mount is included in an Advent reading plan. It's not like <laughs> classic <love> <laughs> Advent reading. <laughs> yes. But as you look at it and you, you like, blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed yes. are those who mourn. Blessed are the humble. Like, it's just beautiful yes. that it, it's this ultimate reminder that Jesus didn't come for the excellent. Right. He came for the yes. lowly. Praise the Lord. And yes. um, and and he came and in this big kingdom manifesto sermon that he gave, he says it. Yes. But he also lives it. Like yes. he does. The, he if you, he both does and he teaches. Yeah. And my goodness, I've always loved the Beatitudes. Do you want to read, read some of it? Yes. Yeah. Let's okay. do. Natalie, do you want to read? I would the, love to. Okay. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Mm. Mm. It's, it's convicting, actually. Yeah. It's yeah. really convicting even when you read it because this, this is the opposite life. Yes. To what this is the opposite life. Mm-hmm. This is like, wait, we are actually this. There's nothing more counterculture than this. Right. Like, these this are not is, my hopes and dreams. No. This is at the right. opposite no. Of everything that the world might literally yeah. exactly. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it's so convicting because as I'm reading it, even I just say these are so easy to read. It's so beautiful. These are not always easy to live. No. <laughs> these yeah, are not, not easy to live. Yeah. This is a this is when it's the daily dying to yourself. Yes. It's like it's a choice you have to make because this is actually completely opposite life of what your flesh tells you that yeah. you should be pursuing. Yes. <laughs> right? And I'm like, oh, Absolutely. I'm feeling conviction right now just reading them. Oh. Yes. And there's something about reading it aloud and hearing scripture yeah. read aloud. It just always falls in the ear differently. Honestly, and, I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever shared this, but I read scripture out loud all the time. And I tell Good. people Same. what, because yes. I'm an audible learner. Yeah. So it helps me to hear it. But mm-hmm. then I also think, again, talking about that spiritual thing that isn't meant to be mystical or magical. Mm-hmm. Right. But there is something about speaking the word out into your home, mm-hmm. out into Amen. your yes. car, out into your, yes. because it, it's in the atmosphere. Like it yeah. is, it's hanging in the atmosphere. And when you're speaking things, like I often think if I had a recorder running, thank you Lord that I actually don't in my home of the things I say that I don't even realize are leaving my lips. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, I don't realize how much I'm convicting. actually even just the self talk. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I don't realize how much I'm putting my own self down right. all the time or I'm questioning something or I'm questioning my husband or I'm, you <laughs> yeah. know, like the constant things that you're saying that you don't even take inventory of. Mm-hmm. So then you're like, why am I not speaking the word more? So I am a big firm believer in mm-hmm. reading the word of God, even when it feels awkward at first, Yeah. If, especially if you're by yourself and you're like, I'm talking out loud kind of to myself yeah. and you're like no you're actually speaking the word and there's just something so powerful and preaching about, it to yourself like literally yeah. mm-hmm. like hearing it you're not just reading it you're you're also hearing it and there's just really something powerful. I like it when my kids walk through the living room and they hear their mom yes the scripture come on yeah. it's, come not, on. it's not like hey come sit down but from yes. time to time yeah. they come and sit down <laughs> yes and listen. I Isn't love that, that. I love well, it's that Deuteronomy it's repeat them to your children yeah. write them yes. on the doorposts of your home yeah. like yeah this, this is, is not. This Sunday is an all-encompassing only. situation. Yes. Write it on your walls. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's there's power in that because yes. first of all, that's the living and active Word of God. Yes. And secondly, like that's accountability on yes. your wall. 